Welcome back to Mohawk College. Liam Dumop alongside Jerry Lynn. And we're here for the men's basketball game between the Sault Ste. Marie Cougars and the Mohawk Mountaineers. Mohawks eight and two, third in the OUA West. And the Sioux is one and eight, second last in the OCAA West, excuse me. So can we get the starting lineups? Yeah, for the uh, Sioux College uh, Cougars uh, starting is uh, Macbeth Mazeba, a guard 5'7 from right here in Hamilton, first year student at the Sioux. We got number seven, Terrell Hoym, guard forward 6'3 out of Brampton, Ontario, first year student. And then Joey Bruni, guard 5'8, Sioux St. Marie, first year. And then we've got Matt Leask, a forward 6'3 out of the Sioux, first year student, and Michael Hepborn, who's number four on the uh, Sioux Cougars. So for Mohawk, starting Matt Savell, number five. Andrew Sistatini, number 10. Matt Fennell, who's the leading scorer, 28.5 points per game, number 12. Number 15, Taylor Dauhaniak. And number 33, O.J. Watson, who played his high school ball here at Sir Alan McNabb in Hamilton. So Mohawk averaging over 100 points per game, which is outstanding. And the Sioux only 63. So we're going to see how it goes. The Sioux St. Marine, not a very tall team. Tallest player only six foot four, and the tallest player for Mohawk six foot seven, Andrew Sissatini. We're underway. Cougars bank shot attempt there by Hoym. That's missed. Rushing down the floor quick as Mohawk in the corner. Matt Fennell. Matt Fennell doing what he does, hitting three point shots. And that's nothing but net. Here's the press like we saw in the women's game, but broken nicely by Hepburn. Right side, Bruni gets it outside. Matt Ziba calming it down. Bruni picking a couple dribbles. Feeds it inside. Two in the shot clock. Hoim. Good work by Hoim. Getting up and under, using the basket as a defender. And finishing with the right hand. Savelle up top. Not a very nice looking pass by Savelle, but it's taken out by Hoym. It'll be Mohawk's ball underneath the basket. Fennel's gonna inbound. Up top to Sissatini. Fennel in the corner again for three. Oh, Matt Fennel. hot early on. It's great to see with the uh, Mountaineers up 5-2. Yeah, that's... They're going to call that a two-point shot, I think. That's what the scoreboard says. So that's five quick points for Fennel. Good attempt there by Hepburn, but he gets his own offensive rebound. Three-point attempt by Bruni, and that's good from the top of the three-point line. So the score is now 5-5. Five to five. This is the good pace we like to see, Jerry. Savelle crossing up. O.J. Watson. Fennel in the corner again. Why not? Oh, another three by Why Fennel. Why not by Matt Fennel? Three for three. Eight points, two minutes into the game. Strong press there by O.J. Watson, but smartly gets back. There's Bruni. Bruni left side. Here Matt Ziba, as Jerry was saying from Hamilton. Bruni for a deep three. He misses, strong rebound taken down. That's Sissatini. Deep outlet pass, Fennel, the right on him there. Savelle. Fakes the pass to O.J. Watson. Sissatini for three. That's short. Strong rebound, Galhaniak. Fennel, mid-range jumper. <laughs> oh. Matthew Fennel. Physical freak. He, Unbelievable. He's just shooting it from long distance so far early in the game. 10 points. Averages 28.5. He could greatly exceed that. Two seconds to get across, and they will not. That is eight second violation. That's great defense there by the Mountaineers see. early We're on, and Fennel's just lighting it up. And here he is. Beautiful looking stroke from 17 feet out. Nothing but net. Dalhaniak. Savile taking the point guard duties. OJ Watson. Closely guarded double team. Savelle's wide open over here, but why not Matt Fennel? And why oh, not another, another three one. pointer? 13 points for Mohawk, all scored by the man, Matt Fennel. 
54% shooting for the season. That's going up if he continues to shoot like this. Matsiba, Hepburn for three. That's too strong. A little shove in the back, but Fennel, we're gonna see a show by OJ Watson. Layup and the foul. And that's the assist to Matthew Fennel. So whether he's scoring or he's dishing, so he's got 12 points and an assist on 15 points here. So OJ Watson's gonna try to finish the three point play. 12 of the fi uh, 15 points by Mohawk so far. Matt Fennel's unbelievable. Crazy. OJ Watson hits it easily. 77.8% foul shooter. Was at a Juco school last year. M made, made his way up to Mohawk, his hometown school. Bruni in the corner. And that's another triple for Bruni, so six points quick for him. Sable, why not? Short. They're going to call that off of Sissatini. Good hustle there underneath the basket. The Sioux's taking it up. Bruni, right side. Nice looking jumper off the back rim. Strong rebound, tipped by Del Haniak to Sissatini. Savo, oh, swarmed was Del Haniak, but he still caught it over three Cougars. Nice inside pass by Fennel. And I don't think they're gonna call that in the act of shooting. That foul is gonna go against Hepburn. Matt Fennel to inbound. 16 to eight for Mohawk. Six minutes left in this first period. A little bit of confusion here. So Fennel now will inbound the ball here. As Savelle, Savelle's got the ball. Matt Fennel again for three. Fennel hits another three. Unbelievable. My word. He's been the it's story the of this show. first quarter so far. Fennel in West 5th. Might be renamed to Fennel and Fennel. <laughs> if they if they want to change it up, he has Matt Fennel showing off, just showing off the range, showing off the touch, showing off the stroke. It's it's amazing to watch. And we're only, we're not even five minutes into this game, Jerry. Unbelievable so far, this uh, Matt Fennel just lighting it up. Saville, left side, Dalhaniak, or assist to Dalhaniak. Fennel gets blocked this time, so he's not going to be having no perfect field goal percentage in this game. That's solid defense. They know he's a shooter, so they're going to have to guard him. Oh, he's going to inbound again, it Substitution looks like. made. And, uh, timeout for Sault Ste. Marie. We've got a timeout here. Number two, Jonathan Lo Negro is going to be coming in. One of the coaches talking to O.J. Watson well, a little bit about his post moves. As we see the Mohawk bench there. Uh, Feeling pretty loose and uh, everything's going right, so. In the 1977 looking uh, Tennessee Volunteer jumpsuits with the creamsicle orange, whatever you want to call it. And then on the other side with the Sioux uh, Cougars, uh, we see Greg Mapp, the uh, head coach fifth year, coaching the Sioux Cougars. As he's trying to uh, map something out there and then. Uh, <laughs> Saw what you did there, my friend. Yeah, Greg Mapp, fifth year as you were saying. Yep. Has a and very Brian young Junkers team. Junkers in his 10th year as head coach with the uh, Mohawk Mountaineers. To great success. Mm -hmm. He's been such a successful coach here. Everyone loves him on the college. But I'm looking at this Sioux College team. One, two, three, four, five, six players on the team first years. So you can't blame them if they're going to lose to a very veteran group as our Mountaineers. Mm -hmm. But first years, they're still young. They got the young legs. and. They're going to show that for the rest of the game. Fennel inbounds. Savelle. Savelle with a little crossover head move. Short. Sissatini takes it down. Sissatini up and under. Misses. Deep rebound out. That's Madziba. Madziba to the low Negro. Slowing it down. Hoim. Bruni. Bruni taking it strong. That's out, Matziba. Matziba misses. Nice tip by Savelle to Sissatini for the team rebound. 
Savelle, oh. that looked like an offensive foul, but Sistini jumps up and gets it, and he gets fouled in the act of shooting. Sistini will go for two. Yeah, that one was a really quick one there. Looked like, uh, from our angle, looked like it was going to be an offensive foul. Luckily, uh, the call went in favor of the uh, Mountaineers there. Substitutions being made for Mohawk, as we see uh, Jeff Hunt coming in for O.J. Watson and Patrick Iverone. Both from this area, as uh, Hunt's from uh, Dundas, 6'6", six, six, fourth year, and Iveroni's a six-foot uh, guard, third year out of Hamilton. Sissatini hits both. And it's a struggle down low. They're gonna call that off of the Cougar. Good work there by Iverone. Matt Fennel again. That one's a little too strong. Taking him down by Matt Ziba. Off the foot, they're going to call that a kick ball on Iberone. Good work by Iberone, though. Don't allow a pass if you're not going to get a foul for kicking the ball. Don't All let right. the easy pass. Well, now Sue's got the ball. That's uh, number two. Matt Ziba takes a couple dribbles. Sees Bruni in the corner. Five on the shot clock. Bruni outside Lone Negro. They're going to call it travel. Picked up the pivot foot. Strong defense by Mohawk. Up 20 to 8. 424 left in this first quarter. So at number two is Jonathan Lonegro. Nice passing inside. Jeff Hunt. Jeff Hunt. With the assist from Iberone. Good press there, but a little bit too much there by Sissatini. We're going to take a look at that pass in by Iverone. Pass left, Iverone, bullet pass. Back door, Jeff Hunt finishes with the reverse layup. Oh, number five, Kevin Ramos is coming into the game. 5'9", third year guard out of Brampton. Here he is right now, Ramos. Long outlet pass. Oh, I got Jeff Hunt in the air. That's a great little pump fake. That's a nice little pump fake by Hoim to get Jeff Hunt jumping. Went right under his legs, took his legs out, got the foul call. Hoim will go for two shots. And speaking of Brampton, Terrell Hoim also from Brampton. Six foot three, guard forward, first year. As you mentioned, there are a lot of first years on this uh, Sioux Cougars years. team. Missed the first one. Hits the second one, and Coach Pursue telling their players to get back on defense. Iverone, up top to Savelle. Nice again, back door, but he finds Iverone. Iverone going up over three players, and almost gets the spin. Sissatini jumped a little bit too early, tried to get the tip slam. Sissatini tips it out of bounds. Good work trapping Hoim there. Knew he picked up the dribble. Get all up in his space, do not give him room to pass. Lo Negro, two inbound. Ramos slipping under Lamar Barr. Hoim tried to get Hunt up in again, but Hunt's not going to fall for that twice. Bruni takes a couple dribbles. Ramos. Ramos wants to calm it down. See if he takes on Iberone. He does not give the Lo Negro a little bit of a low pass there, but Bruni picks it up, shoots it. Hunt up, Matt Fennell sees the smaller man, takes it up strong, gets fouled. He will go to the line for two. Smart play by Matt Fennell. Took his head up, not looking at the ball. Saw he had two smaller defenders, took it right into the heart of the defense. Yeah, Fennell's been hot. Um, last game out, he uh, got 23 points, six rebounds, one assist, 36-26 of playing time down in Walland. Huge. Against the Niagara Knights. And he's, he's been carrying that hot streak into uh, this game. He's massive for this team. and. As we were saying how, how young Sue St. Marie are, we got Matt, Andrew Sissantini, Matt Fennell, Matt Savelle, and 
Taylor Dalhaniak, all fifth years. They're all going to be leaving after the season, so it's a do or die season for Mohawk. Mm -hmm. well, this is the year that they got to go for a championship. Ramos for three. That's a beautiful looking stroke there. Nice three pointer there by Ramos for the uh, Sioux Cougars. Lamar Barr up top, Hunt, all the way right side, Fennel. Good passing. Ivaron for three. Another assist for Matt Fennel. A beautiful looking stroke by Patrick Ivaron. Ramos having some difficulty getting out of his, uh, his side of the uh, court there. Bruni throws it away to Hunt. Lamar Barr, who went to STM. St. Thomas More gives it to Ivrone. Ivrone was feeling it. And great hustle by Dalhaniak. Look at the size of him. Six foot nine out of Dundas. He's the fifth year center for uh, the Mountaineers. Stop, pop, and miss for Bruin. Poem. So we got another replay coming up. So we got Kojo Afari, six foot four forward out of Hamilton, uh, fourth year student coming in for uh, Matt Fennel there. Great pass by Fennel. And a slow three pointer by Iberone. They're gonna say that's off of the Sioux Cougars. That is Mohawk ball underneath the basket. Just under two minutes left, 28-12 for your Mohawk Mountaineers. Iberon. Kick ball there by Lo Negro. There it is. Too big. Dauhaniak's too big for anybody on the <laughs> Sioux Cougars to deal with, so they just throw it up and just let him do his thing. Bruni gets cut off. They got to get it in, and they do. Jumper by Leesk is missed, and Hunt steals it off the rebound. Lamar Barr gets it back. Ivron, Hunt, Hunt, nice fake shot pass. Cannot finish there is Afari. And Ramos takes the ball. He's a fa He fakes it. They're going to give it up. Ivron got the steal. Now he'll get. The ball slips out of his hands. That was surprising. I think he, you saw he take, took the, uh, his eyes off the ball in the basket. Mm -hmm. And he just let it slip right out of his hands. We're gonna take a look at that again. Yeah, just let it slip right out. He's not very happy with himself. Yeah, it looked like a gimme there, but I guess when you when somebody comes really close, sometimes you have a hard time hanging on to the ball. Ramos, no look pass. Into Leesk, and that's a nice finish. He's tall, he's got long arms. Matt Leesk got the Sioux. Tallest player on this team, six foot four. Not a very tall team. Pass is too hot to handle there for Afari. I've run a couple of mistakes there. I thought it was a good pass, but Afari wasn't ready for the speed. Mm -hmm. Ramos oh. taking it. They're breaking it nice. Leesk, beautiful oh. work. That's great passing there to give it to Hoim for the finish. Under a minute remaining in the first. Now Haniak's like, I'm too big. Oh, I'm gonna and finish he finishes my left that hand. one. Dalhaniuk. We're going to take a look at that nice little pass there to Hoyne. And Hoyne finishes. So Dalhaniuk's trying to finish on the three point play. Beautiful looking stroke and does. Dalhaniuk only shooting 68%, which is one of the team's worst free throw shooters, but. Nice looking stroke there. Mm -hmm. So Nihiro over to Ramos. Moving the traffic. Facing to Lohiro, get Bruni. Hoy, they're gonna have to get something off. Five, uh, five on the clock, Least Fading away. Kobe Bryant looking shot, but he misses. Afari takes it down. They do have one shot, but Ibron's gonna take the wide open three. And nails, nails it. it. Ivaron with the three. But Ramos Zoo. now trying to catch them off guard there after the three there. Point for three. Short. And 
punt from half. Almost banked it in. That would have been nice. That would have been, yeah. And we're going to take a, a look at the replay on the Ivrone corner three. Had all day to shoot it. And it slowly hits the bottom of the net. So, end of the first. There's nothing to be disappointed about for the Mountaineers. A little bit to be desired for Sault Ste. Marie. 36 points in the first. Jerry, you have fun? So far, yeah. Two words, Matt Fennell. Matt Fennell had the fir first 12 points of the game, and they just couldn't come back from that. He's been doing everything. He's been passing the ball. He has two assists. He's been rebounding the ball. He's been doing everything right. Yeah, those that three-pointer of his was just... Uh, Yeah, those three-pointers really uh, did a lot of damage in the uh, that first quarter there for the uh, Mohawk Mountaineers. And Tauhaniak, his size is really hurting the Sault Ste. Marie Cougars. He looks up, he sees over everyone's head. Yep. So why not take it hard to the basket? Exactly. So we're gonna look at some stats. Matt Fennell, six for eight shooting, 75%, 16 points. I was saying two assists. The assist to turnover ratio is amazing for Mohawk. 11 assists to two turnovers. And the assist to turnover ratio is just one, which isn't bad. Six assists, six turnovers for the Cougars. I think it's just Mohawk's a bigger team. They look to be stronger down low, finishing on the offensive rebounds. And it's really paying off on the scoreboard. Fennell inside. This is a teeny. OJ Watson thought about taking the three, and he gets blocked. Good defense there by Hoyne. Bruni up top. There's Hoyne again. Hoyne loses control, almost gets it tipped in, but kept down by Cicatini. Savelle. Savelle, nice left hand pass. Fennel, baseline. Cicatini. Savell for three. Holy, the Mountaineers are just hitting threes so far early on in this game. It's un unbelievable how they've been uh, hitting all these three pointers. They're 36% on the season, which is a good average for three point range, but tonight it's just outstanding. Hoim trying to do it all himself, gives it off. Least, least easy little layup. Nice little head fake, fake the, fake the pass out right, took it hard, took it actually nice and softly to the basket, fans with the left hand. Savelle, Fennel right side, back to Savelle, another one? Of oh, course. another three. It's raining. It's just raining in favor of the uh, Mountaineers here. Just raining threes. 42-18, eight and a half minutes remaining in this first half. Hoim, Bruni for three. He's too strong. Cincinnati, another strong rebound. Savelle getting tricky behind the back. Stop, pop, and too strong off the back rim. Hoim doesn't have the numbers, but he's gonna go for it. Nice little Euro step, finished with the right hand reverse. Play oh. called Aminu coming up from Mohawk. Fennel, Cincinnati. Tried, that was a hard pass there by Sissettini. I think he knew it right after he passed it. He should not have got rid of that ball. Here's Matt Ziba. Outside Hoim. Hoim, a little dump pass, but Sissettini makes up for his earlier turnover. Oh, oh, hard foul there. Afari taking it hard to the hole. Bruni not allowing it. Grabbed his arms, threw him to the ground. Afari to the line. He's a 60, 67%, and that's a hard foul there. That could have been a flagrant too, but ref did not see it that way. So Justin Dubray has come into the game, six foot guard out of Sault Ste. Marie, first year student, as uh, the Cougars did a substitution there. Probably missed the first one. Yeah, it looked like Matt Lease came out of the game. 6-3 forward, uh, first year out of Sault Ste. Marie. We saw Mert just a short time ago with that layup. 
Apari hits the second one. Yeah, a lot of hometown guys for both of these teams. One, two, three, four players for Sault Ste. Marie, from Sault Ste. Marie. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players from Hamilton and surrounding areas for Mohawk. Bruni. Madziba. Dubrea. Headboard, nice little floater in the lane. Matt Savelle. Moving the trees around. Another backdoor pass Hunt, but they're gonna give it back to Fennel. Five on the shot clock, they gotta get something off. Hunt for three. And not this time. Taken down by Hoim. Matziba. Matziba putting it down. Good rebound by OJ Watson to keep it in to Jeff Hunt. One-handed pass by Savelle. Why not, Matt Fennel? Oh, another one. Fading out of bounds, too. 45-22, three and a half, six and a half minutes in this first half. And Matt Fennel showing off. Now he's uh, showing that intensity on defense. He, right there, exactly what you're saying, Jerry. Really well. A perfect defense on Hoim. Hoim, I noticed when he has the ball, likes to shoot it. Fennel for three. This oh, time this he's too time strong. Missed it. Madziba. Bruni back to Madziba. Looking for something to happen. Hoim posting up against his team. Big size matchup. And I think he was going for an alley oop pass or something. A little bit of miscommunication. Hunt. No look pass into Sissatini. And he's too strong. OJ Watson tried the tip slam. But the Sioux get it out cleanly. Madziba. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Hepburn. It's looking good. Not the biggest guy on the court, six foot two, but looking like it on those drives. Very quick, very athletic. Savelle calling this play out. Inside Hunt, Hunt got pushed, but back to Savelle. No look pass to Jeff Hunt. And it's off back rim. Bruni. He had two guys to pass to, but didn't choose to. OJ got it stolen away by Hepburn. Hepburn misses the layup. Substitution on the floor. So we got Nathan Hyman in. 5'8 guard, first year student from the Sioux. And uh, looked like as well uh, Kevin Ramos going back in. So, timeout on the floor. Five minutes remaining in this first half. 45-24. Matt Fennell, Matt Savelle, Andrew Cicatini, Dauhaniak, and Ivaron. Who, who else? They've all been contributing. Yep. It's a team sport, and they're really showing that you need a whole team to win. Yep, it's been a great team effort so far. Matt Fennell doing his job. Savelle, no look pass is getting a little cheeky, but they're working. Jeff Hunt, gritty. Gritty, gritty player, Jeff Hunt, off the bench. And you see our beautiful cheerleaders. Coach Greg Mapp, really talking some sense into his team. They break the huddle. We're gonna be back underway in a couple seconds. OJ Watson inbound to Savelle. OJ Watson for three. OJ oh, Watson the nails the triple. OJ Watson. He was a big prospect coming out of Sir Alan McNabb in Hamilton. Made it down to the States. Didn't really like it there too much. Came up. And, why not play for the hometown college? Inside. There's Hepburn again. Gets own rebound. Up again. Great job, Michael Hepburn. Savelle. Big group substitution coming up for Mohawk as Matt Fennel. Not as hot as the first, but he's still hot. Ramos for three. Nice oh, looking that shot. Was a nice three pointer by Ramos there. 
five foot nine out of Brampton, third year. Oldest player on this team. As is a hard foul there. Ramos trying to cut off the pass to Jeff Hunt. And here comes the group substitution. But all these players coming on can get it done. Exactly. They can all get it done. There's a very deep uh, squad that the uh, Mountaineers have, both the uh, the men's and we saw earlier with the uh, the women's team. Lamar Lots Barr, of depth. right side. Hook shot there taken by Jerome Gale, but Lamar Barr comes and finishes it off. Ramis. Using his hand, moving the people around. Gets it back. Ten on the shot clock. They're wasting a lot of time, not getting inside. There's Hepburn again. Nice crossover. And he's short, but he gets his own offensive rebound again. Lamar Bar can handle it. Ramos. Calming it down. Dubre. Inside. That was Hymanen. He misses. Lamar Bars gives it out. Gale. Gale gets it back. Triple teamed. I like the idea from the Sault Ste. Marie. When they get it down low, you got to get up there. You don't have the height. Mm -hmm. You got to get on them. <laughs> Substitution coming on. Leeskenheim on for the Cougars. Big Dalhaniak. Lamar Barr. Ivorone for three. Rowe He's been hot. The uh, the hot three-point shooting of the uh, Mountaineers here. As Ramos has the ball, Bryn, as he brought it up the floor here for, uh, now Bruni's got the ball. Down to uh, Ramos. Going up, putting it up. Hoim, blocked. Rejected by Dauhanya. And Lamar Barr gets reached into there by Hepborn. I'm really liking Michael Hepburn. Oh, yeah. We're going to see a, a foul. We're going to see the foul call. And the rejection by Dauhaniak, which led to the foul, yeah. A little bit too much by Hepburn. Three-point attempt there. Too strong by Matt Sissatini, the brother of Andrew. He's only a first year, so... One Cicitini is going to be leaving. One Cicitini is going to be showing his own. Substitution on the floor for Sault Ste. Marie. Lonijo coming in for Hepburn. Hepburn showing his work on the offensive end, getting rebound after rebound and finishing. Ramos. Inside, that's Leesk. He's short. Good work by Hoyne. Bruni. Side to Ramos. Ramos got little Sistatini on him. Nice pick set by Leesk. Ramos takes it himself. Oh, He's been nice shooting nice. Nice shot by Ramos there off that pick. He's got a nice looking shot too. Lamar Barr puts his head down. Thought he was going to pass Tybrone, but he gives it off to young Sistatini. Dalhaniak inside. They're going to call an offensive foul on Dalhaniak. Fifty-three thirty-one for Mohawk over Sault Ste. Marie. One forty-five left in this first half. Now here's Ramos with the ball. Lonijo inside. Leesk traveled. Good work by Lamar Barr grabbing the ball and not allowing him to go anywhere without taking too many steps. So now we've got Macbeth Maziba going in for uh, Ramos. Ramos, I like what he was doing on the point guard duties. Mm -hmm. Really setting his team up for success. Outside, Ivorone. He's got it going. Ivorone with the foul. Inside, Leesk. Oh, rejected. Huge block there. Gale, and bring it down the other way. Let's see if Gale can get three. Oh, that That's short. short. Oh, Nihiro. Leafs. Trying to get it out. 
There's Matt Zeba. Point for three. That's off the front of the rim. Taking down my Lunar Hero. Matt Zeba. Please go top. Bruni. 30 seconds on the game clock, 10 on the shot clock. Nice steal there. Gale's been strong on defense. Lamar, far. Lamar Barth floats it up and in, off the backboard. Bruni. There's Matziba. Six on the shot clock. Hoin. Misses short. Let's see if they get another chance. And they do. Leesk loses the ball. That is the end of the first half. Mohawk up 58 31. We're going to look at some replays. Fennel all the way over and then back door to Jeff Hunt. There's Lamar Barr. I've Roan in the corner. He has had a nice looking stroke in this first half. There's Leesk. Looked like he kind of stutter stepped. Gave it to Hoim. Ramos deep triple. We're going to throw it over to Jerry Lim with an interview. Thanks, Liam. I'm here with Matt Fennell. Matt, that first uh, half was something. With you, were, you had the hot hand with all those threes. Um, what's the plan going into the uh, second half? Uh, continue the same thing. Uh, I mean, buckle down defend more defensively. And uh, yeah, just keep doing the same thing. Run the floor and uh, hopefully get this lead up a little bit more. Uh, what's... Uh, so far with the early on success, 2015, uh, what do you credit it to? Uh, just hard work. I mean, uh, we're always in the gym. We're putting in hard work. Everyone's putting up extra shots. Everyone's believing in each other. And uh, it's just based on team chemistry and coaches believe in us. So, yeah, we're going to keep it rolling from here. Good luck in the second half. All right, thank you very much. That's Matt Fennell. Uh, just had a hot first half. And uh, now over to you, Liam. Joining me now is uh, the assistant coach for the uh, Sioux Cougars, Aaron Brown. Aaron, uh, that was. Uh, what were your thoughts in terms of uh, your team's performance during the uh, first half? I thought our energy was good. It was just, you know, we kind of lacked a little hump to try to get us over the hump. But I thought the guys played tough. I mean, you know, you got to give credit to Mohawk. These guys are a top team. And, you know, a lot of these guys are fourth, fifth year guys. A lot of guys are new, just still learning the program and the system and everything. But I thought we played pretty well. What do you see uh, in terms of the second half, in terms of what your team needs to do to uh, get back in this game? Uh, we just got to get back on defense faster, uh, play a little bit better, get our hands up, and you know, cause disruption and communicate out there. And I don't see why we can't get back in this and win this game. Coach, thank you. Thank you. And uh, back to you, Liam. We're back underway. That's Matziba over to Hoim. Takes a couple triples, gives it to Bruni. Right that Matziba gets it back. Bruni, again, back and forth with Matziba. Three on the clock, Bruni for three. Nice looking shot over Matt Fennel. Savell, fancy dribbling. Cicitini, back to Savell. Savell for three. Uno, dos, tres. Matt Savelle. Matt Ziba, left side. Bruni, nice little pass inside to Hoim. Hoim, 
dumps it off to Lee, and Lee gets fouled during the shot. I think that's going to go against Dauhania. They're actually going to call that against Sissatini. We're going to take a look at that foul again. Nice dish by Hoim. Tries to go for the first. Looks like he kind of walked, and I didn't really see a foul there. So that's okay. Lee's first shot off the back rim. Lee's only shooting 20% from the line. He hasn't been there a lot this season, but when he gets there, he's not very successful. Misses both again. But there, there's my favorite player on the Sioux team right there, Hepburn. I'm just loving his game. He has the ball right now. Hands it off Hoim. Hoim can take that jumper. But back into Hepburn. Hepburn loses the ball. Back to Hoim. 10 on the shot clock. Bruni. Hepburn again. Fade away jumper. Hard shot. Dalhaniak takes it down easily. Fennel. Over to OJ. OJ gets some air time and oh. lays it up and in. Nice basket there by OJ Watson there for the Mountaineers. He gets back quickly on D there. Hoim gets fouled there. I think this one's going to be against Dalhaniak. And again, I get it wrong. OJ Watson gets the foul. <laughs> So it makes the nice basket on the other end, comes back and tries a little bit too hard on defense and gets the foul. So Hoim will shoot two. Hoim, the best shooting free throw shooter for the Cougars at 70%. I missed misses the, the first, first one. And the second one is through. Savelle left side, OJ Watson, quick pass in Sistini. They're gonna say that's off the Sioux player. And the Sioux bench not very happy about that. Fennel to inbound. Risky pass, but Fennel gets it back. Oh, Fennel, he just keeps getting hotter and hotter this it's game, unbelievable. Nation. It's second nature for this man. When he has the ball in his hands, he either passes beautifully or shoots better. Oh, Dalhaniak oh. with the swat, but Lees gets it back. Medziba back to Lees. Lees, contested shot, not very smart decision. Sistini oh, throws Savelle it behind Savelle. Him. There's Hawthorne, he misses an easy duck. Savelle up high, OJ Watson. Oh. oh, that would have brought the house down. That would have been some alley-oop. Bruni yeah. for three. He's been oh. hot. Bruni nice three pointer nice. there by Bruni. Bruni yeah, so far nice. this game we've seen two failed alley oop attempts. Yeah. One on the Sioux side. OJ Watson for three. A short, great work by Dahonyak, but misses the layup. Gets his own rebound. Inside this team. That's easy. Good hustle on the offensive end, offensive boards for Mohawk to get second chance opportunities. Bruni again. This time he's way too far behind the line and short. OJ Watson, Matt Fennell's wide open. I think he's gonna shoot, and he does. And he's too strong, down a great positioning. Puts it up strong, misses. Great, great work by Cincinnati to bring it down, but he should have held that ball up and went up again, but Lee took it away. Hoy, outside, all day for Bruni. And he's gonna hit that Bruni all day long. Bruni hits the three. You can't leave a three-point shooter open like that. Savelle. Look at those hands. Right side, OJ back to Savelle. Savelle for three. That's short. Tipped out by Fennel. That goes to Bruni. Bruni? Thought he was going to take another three. Gives it to Hawk. Hepborn. Three point attempt by Madziba, the Hamilton native. That is off. Savelle floats oh, it up. They're trying to go for OJ Watson. Uh, Ali puts up there. They know OJ Watson's the high flyer on this team. In a game a couple years ago when he was at McNabb, he played against Andrew Wiggins and Huntington Prep. And there's some pictures of them just working each other on defense, playing each other hard. Andrew Wiggins dunking, OJ Watson dunking. It's if you're going head-to-head -head with the number one overall player in the draft, mm -hmm. 
You know you're doing something right. Oh, yeah. Hepborn inside. Well, Negro. Bruni in the corner misses. Strong rebound by Fennel over two defenders. We got a new player in. That is Joseph Mullikendoff. That looked like a travel, and it was. Good call there. As Kojo Afari took too many steps. Metziva. Ooh, a little nice little crossover, but oh. loses the ball. Here comes Fennel. We're gonna see some. Ooh, oh. rejected. That was Hepburn. <laughs> Hepburn. And then Brudy take it in. Oh. And then the huge block on the other end. That is Jeff Hunt. Jeff but then Hunt. Bruni's wow. like, it doesn't matter if you block me. I'm going to hit the three-pointer right in your face. Afari. He oh, misses. that one was too much. The score is 69-44 for Mohawk. Oh, the pace has picked up so left far in the now. Third quarter. The last few minutes. Ball's on the ground. Afari. Afari. Outside, Fennel for three. Fennel. Another three by Fennel. This is unreal. Yeah, there might be a leakage in the roof, a little hole in the roof, because it's raining threes. And it's coming Matt Fennel's way. Well, there's Hepburn. Nobody touched him. He's got to hit that layup. They're going deep. That's not a good pass. Point read it perfectly. Nice no-look pass. Why not? Why not Joey Bruni? There's a timeout on the floor by Mohawk. How are we going to stop? It's a two-man show right now. We're going to take a quick look at that replay again. Bruni, five seconds to shoot. Oh, whenever three. you give a three-pointer, three-point shooter, a lot of time not. like that, a clear look at the basket, it's going in. Yeah, you can't do that. It's just like Fennel wide open on one end, Bruni wide open on the other end. It's hard to defend all five guys down the court, but you got to know who your man is. Exactly. The point guard's got to know where Bruni is. Whoever's playing Fennel, because Fennel can literally play one through five. Mm -hmm. He can play point guard. He plays two guard. He plays both forward positions. Against a team like Sault Ste. Marie, he can play the five. He's, he's that much bigger than any, any guy on that team. So yeah. he's, he's, a hard, he's a hard guy to compete with. He's a hard guy to guard. He's just... If, He's one of those guys, if they're on your team, if he's on your team, you love him. Oh, yeah. If he's not on your team, you don't like him very much. If he can, he can ruin the day for your team. 72-47, Mohawk over Sault Ste. Marie. Just under four minutes remaining. A little bit of a breather for both sides as Mohawk took the timeout. And Matt Fennell to inbound. Iverone now in. Iverone gets it back. Hunt inside to Afari, but he can't handle the one-hand catch. Hard pass by Jeff Hunt. Turnover for the Mountaineers. Oh, here's Ramos now. She brings the ball up. Rudy tried the three, didn't go. Ramos Ooh. with the physical contact, puts it up and puts it in. Nice work by Ramos, getting the offensive rebound, going hard to the basket, finishing off glass. Yeah, we're gonna see a replay there. Look at him go up and get that. non Ibron runs it in while falling, throws it off the backboard in. And he's gonna complete the three-point play. That's huge. If you can chip away at a lead three points at a time, that's the way you want to do it. Hunt, double teamed, gets it off. But Malakandoff in there with the big beard. Another bearded player, Jeff Hunt, finds Afari down low. Beautiful awareness by Jeff Hunt. Beautiful cut by Afari. Ramos with a little push off an eyebrow, but he gets some space. Hepthorn. Hoim. Little floater, gets his own rebound. I'd like to see better boxing out on the mm -hmm. defensive end by Mohawk. Because 
These guys just keep getting their offensive rebounds and finishing. Yeah, that one was the second chance point that could have been avoided. Oh, that would have been nice. Afari going up. Afari missed the layup. Fennel puts it up and misses. He's mad at himself for that one. Oh. Rooney going hard right into the chest of Molikendoff, and he's going to go to the line for two shots. Rooney to the line for two. Puts that one through. A little too strong on the second one. Iverone. Molikandoff. Misses. Oh, Jeff Hall wanted the tip slam. And they're going to call the and one Matt Fennel. To finish under pressure like that's very hard. We've been seeing on both ends. Great hustle. To finish with the left, left hand. Here it is. Gets hacked. Nice little touch. Timeout on the floor for Sault Ste. Marie, 76-53 for Mohawk. Do you think, let's, let's talk here, Jerry. Um, do you think they might change the name of Mohawk College to Fennel College? Oh yeah. Why not? Why wouldn't That'd be they? a great way to promote it, wouldn't it? Eh? Right now with, you know, the way uh, Matt Fennel's been playing. All the three-pointers that he's been showing a lot of uh, heart down low with uh, all those baskets that he's, uh, you know, putting in off of rebounds. Because you've seen some flashes of alley-oop attempts and big dunks that weren't put away. And he's just been there to pick up, you know, what's been left. He's not the flashiest player on the court. He's not, the, he's not cocky. He just knows how to play the game of basketball. And he just does his job. He hits. He hits those shots, he goes down low, gets offensive rebounds, finishes, and gets hit. And we'll see him at the line right now as Lamar Barr is going to come in. He's going to come in after the shot. As you can see, Big Dauhaniak has a head over anybody there. He's a big man. Fennel, of course. Hits the free throw. He's so going to take a little seat. we've got Lamar Barr coming in. Five foot 11 guard out of Hamilton. First year student here at Mohawk. Yeah, St. Thomas More. He was highly recruited out of St. Thomas More in Hamilton. He thought he was going to go to the States, but I think he wanted to just stay home. He's got a lot of family here. They're going to call that on Iverone. Put it. Point is getting up, feeling at his neck. Yeah, we're going to look at this again. Ooh, that's that's a hard foul. Ivro not very happy of how close Hoyne is playing, but that's how you play oh, yeah. defense. You can't let anybody have space. 77-53 for Mohawk. Just over two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Hits the first one. And the second one, so an off ball foul leads to two points for Sault Ste. Marie. Inside, Dauhaniak, nice dish. Afari. Afari finishes the left hand. Uh, Ramos now. And Hoyne. Ramos now. Try to spin off. Goes down low, loses the ball. And here's uh, Ivorone. Hunt for three. Misses it to the left. They're going to call a block on Ivorone, who's just Millisecond too late to gr to draw the charge there. And the uh, 
Sioux Cougars are now in the bonus, so they will be getting shots for the rest of this minute 25 in the third. Here comes O.J. Watson. He's going to take Ivron's spot. Ivron, two quick fouls there. Hits the first one. Second one is true. Lamar, Jeff Hunt, far, cutting through. He's getting hacked. He's going to be a sub on the floor. So Ramos coming out of the game, and uh, coming in is uh, Macbeth Mitziba, Hamilton native. Far to Watson. Far for three. And two Cougars ran into each other there. We hear one of the coaches of the Cougars saying, somebody grab the ball. It's what you do in basketball. <laughs> Jeff Hunt inbound. Galhaniak. Bar. Hunt cutting baseline. Slips through the hands, but it went right to Lamar Bar. <laughs> we'll take the luck. That's lucky. That's Eva and Bruni now. Hoim. Bruni for three. Ooh. Missed that one. A good looking stroke. OJ Watson. Dalhaniak Hunt. Cross court. Lamar Barr almost gets it stripped away. Goes up hard. Rebounded by the smallest guy on the court, Mazziba. Mazziba using the speed, cutting through the defense. Over here, Bruni. Thought about taking the three, but took it back. Lonihro. Bruni for three. Those shots are close. Under 20 seconds remaining. Lamar, Hunt. Hunt dribbles it really high. Gives it in Lamar Bar. The ball's on the ground. Oh. Now has got it. They're going to call a foul here. On the Lonihro. 7.7 .7 on the clock. So it's going to be one shot for Mohawk. Lamar Barr is going to be taking it. Gives it over to Watson. Three. Get it off, OJ. And behind the basket. He, he thinks he got fouled. Might have got fouled. All right, we got, a, we got a replay of that last foul when it was the ball was on the floor. And Dauhaniak got kicked. And it's scary down there with the trees. <laughs> Lots of big boys down there. And when you when they're landing on you, it's not gonna be fun for either oh, yeah. party. I just noticed a moment ago the uh, the subject of my interview there as we were coming back into the second half, Aaron Brown is just uh, telling uh, his players there just to, you know, you know, keep it cool because yep. they're not at home, you know, just you know, let it go. It's just that you know, at that moment there it looked like it could have gotten ugly there, luckily. Yeah, you could have you gotta get, keep a cool there. head. You gotta keep a cool head in these situations. You know they're, you're playing these teams tomorrow. Yep. You're seeing them tomorrow. Tip off for you folks listening right now. We're gonna be tomorrow, Saturday. Women tip off at one. Men to tip off at 3 p.m. So you can listen in the same way you're listening right now and watching on M-Link on YouTube. There's a Mohawk College production. We'd like to thank our our students in the truck and around the the concourse, camera guys, we've got graphics, we got director, great producer Kevin Ferreira. We're just having fun here, especially with it's way more fun when Mohawks winning. Oh yeah. Especially after it's been raining threes. Yeah, I for think most of this game on on the yeah, part the floor of is still a little wet. I think they're going to get a good gloss on the floor from all the, the, the threes raining in here. Yeah, so Matt Fennell having an okay game. 26. 10 of 17 shooting. 44% shooting for Mohawk as a team, and we're back underway. Lamar Barr for three. Rattles it home.
Bruni now trying to find an opening. Got Hoim. Oh, they lost the ball now. Here's Fennel coming down. And Bruni there. That's what you got to do if you're Bruni there. You see Matt Fennel, big boy, running right at you. You're one of the smallest guys on the court. Just foul him. I know he's great at the line, but you got to foul him there. No, don't allow an easy layup or dunk. Hits oh. the first one. First free throw. Fennel, 89.7 at the line this season, which is outstanding. That's almost Steve Nash numbers. Hits the second one as well. So it's like 28 points now for Fennel. 28. So he's matching his season average. Point. The pick set by Lonijo. He gets it back. Stolen away. Cicitini. OJ Watson. Matt Fennel. Great. Oh, the dunk. 30 points now for Matt Fennel. 30 points. Madziba, outside Hepburn, Lodnihro, Bruni, let's see if he's going to shoot it, he's taking on OJ Watson, nice layup, nice floater off the backboard, Savelle, Lamar Bar's open, he gets it, inside Fennel, nice pass, Cicidina. he's going to cram oh, it home. Nice dunk there by uh, Andrew Cicatini. Yep. Bruni rushing the floor. He hits it too hard off the backboard this time. Lamar Bar for three. Too strong. Matt Fennel, of course. And he lays it up and in. Timeout on the floor. The, the coach for Sault Ste. Marie is not liking it. 92-59. There's a replay coming up. And there it is, Cicitini. That's exciting for the fans, too, to see some big dunks. And those are the first two dunks of the game for Mohawk. So the score, 92-59, 8-20 remaining in the game. Mohawk's going to get over 100 points again. They're averaging 100 points, which is outstanding in the OCAA. If they can continue doing this, Nationals at home here in Hamilton at Mohawk. They're going to be seeing it again and another chance at a championship. Oh, yeah. This is the year. I mean, they got a lot of fourth and fifth year players, and especially with those fifth years, this is the year to do it. If you're going to win the championship, this is the time. This is the time. Because you look at that Sioux team and speaking to Aaron Brown, you know, they, own, they have a lot of first years of that, so they're clearly building. And we got a you know established you know veteran win, uh, team that you know should you know go all the way and win this thing with the uh, Mohawk Mountaineers. Ramos ten bounds, moving along the baseline because he can. Nadziba up to Bruni, all the way. Point, point going up strong, but Sistini going up stronger with the rejection. Nadziba calling something out. Looks up at the shot clock. Bruni, little crossover move. Back to Madziba, three on the clock. They're gonna get nothing off. Bruni's gonna have to huck one. Maybe Bank? No. Bank wasn't open there. Savelle, deep corner, Fennel. Fennel comes down back to Savelle. Lamar Bart, nice post up move. Finishes the left hand reverse. Madziba, gives the ball with the stronger left hand. Ramos. Hepborn. Left side, Bruni. Takes a couple dribbles, crosses over nicely. Matt Fennel gets his hand on oh. it, that's a block. Then outlets it out to Savelle. Savelle behind the back. Fennel, deep three. Oh. 33 points for Matt Fennel. I don't know how you can defend that. That's an NBA three. It's an NBA three-pointer in a college setting in Canada. That's amazing. That's unreal. Hepborn going in strong. They're going to call the foul on Fennel. So Hepborn's going to go to the line and shoot a couple at the charity straight.
Hepburn just showing off the skills, the speed, the effort that it takes to wi have winning games. We're gonna take a look at that Matt Fennel three again. Deep three. That's a solid four feet behind the line. <laughs> Hepburn. Missed the first one off the back rim. Second opportunity to make it 50-50. Hit that one. Savelle, fancy dribbling skills. O.J. Watson crossing over. Triple team there. Watson gets it back, puts his head down. Savelle for three, that's a hard looking shot. Just touched rim. That's a tricky shot by Malakandoff. Malakandoff, sorry. Great defense by O.J. Watson for the block. They get it back, Hoyne. Hoyne takes it up strongly, kisses it off the glass. Well, the handoff again, air mails it. <laughs> Ramos tips it out. Rooney, Hoyne, no call there. They're gonna just say Hoyne just lost the ball out of bounds. Good work by OJ Watson. So now Savelle coming up the uh, court for uh, Mohawk here. Oh, alley oop attempt. That one uh, failed. They're getting predictable now. Those alley oops are getting predictable, and it's they're just trying to tear the house down. But they're already up by 37 points. I don't think they need any more flashy stuff. They're not the Harlem Globetrotters. So now Ramos trying to uh, get something going here for the Sioux uh, Cougars, going up strong. Poim finishes it off for the uh, Cougars here. At I like the idea by Ramos, but you gotta have a smarter head there. You gotta be looking up, not looking at the ground. Now we'll see if the uh, Mountaineers can get it over 100. Oh, they will. <laughs> <laughs> they always seem to. OJ Watson keeps it in bounds. Savelle, all kind off for three, rattles out. That's a hard one, but he steals it. Nice no look pass. Bounces Afari, misses with the left hand. I'm gonna jinx them. Point. <laughs> Fakes the behind the back pass and just throws up a duck. Afari. Ramos just swats at the arms. Strips the ball out of bounds. They're gonna call the foul on Ramos. Under five minutes remaining. 99-64 for the Mountaineers. Liam Dunlop alongside Jerry Lynn. Mohawk to inbound. Substitution being made. Yep, Nathan Hymanen is coming in for uh, number nine, Justin Dubray. The head coach for Sault Ste. Marie saying, I don't think we're coming back from 35 points, but thank <laughs> you to the, to the nice table staff we have here. Oh yeah, that was Greg Mapp, the uh, the fifth year head coach for the uh, Sioux Cougars. Ramos missed the shot, but Hoyne kept it in from behind the back. That was beautiful. Ramos doing work. Nice take with the left hand. Oh, that was a nice That's layup deep. there by Ramos. Gale. Hawkendorf. Just missing again. And that was good hustle there by Matthew Cicitini to keep it inbounds, but stepped on the line before he could keep it. Still 99 points for Mohawk, 66 now for the Sioux. Ramos, one hand dribbler, but switches to the left. Outside, pass it again. Hepburn. Strong defense there by Gale and Afari. 
Oh, and oh. just slowly throws it at the backboard and gets the nice bounce. Rooney taking it again to the heart of the defense. That's got to be a charge, and it is. Matt Sistatini, the first year, the brother of Andrew Sistatini, who's a fifth year. He'll be gone next year. Matt, Mike and Matt taking that charge. There it is. Yeah, so Mazziba just came in for uh, Ramos. Oh, look end off. Right side, little Sistatini, Afari. Finishes with the left hand. And the foul. Afari will go to the line, finish off. Three points the easy way. Missed it, but good hustle by Gale there to get the offensive board. Cross court, Malkandoff. Hunt, little Sissatini for three. They're only going to call that a two point opportunity, but he got fouled on the shot. So, Matt Sissatini will go to the line. And there's a timeout for Sault Ste. Marie. Over 100 points again for Mohawk. Only allowing 66 so far with three over three minutes left to play. Jerry, the Mountaineers are a, a team to be reckoned with. They have one loss, and it came at the almost the very beginning of the season, second game in. What can somebody do to stop the high-powered offense of, they got eight guys that can do it. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's a team gonna have to do to, to slow them down this year? Well, I think the team that's going to slow them down, that's going to have to be a very big team in terms of size. It's going to have to have a lot of athleticism, speed, quickness. And, uh, I mean, the Mountaineers right now, they're third in the OCAA West. It's scary to think that, you know, they're not first place the way they, they're playing tonight. Yeah. Couldn't agree more because when it comes to Nationals, there's only one team that wins. And Mohawks making a strong case for Nationals. There are other great teams in the OCAA. But if you keep scoring over 100 points, if you're averaging 100 points a game, that means the team you're facing has to also. And there's not another team in the whole OCAA that does it. Matt Sistatini hits the first one. Second one, so they are giving him three shots. I didn't know that. I couldn't tell by the hand signals of the ref. So Sissatini's third shot. It's true, so three yep. for three at the line. That's Ziba. Taking his time, three minutes on the clock. With the headboard poked away by Afari. Side Bruni, nice little floater. Good work by Bruni. Lamar Barr into Afari, behind the back. I didn't like that dribbling, but he gets it back and he oh, crams it. Dunk. That's what standing a dunk. dunk. Kojo Afari to make it 108 68 for the Mountaineers with about 2.30 to go. Here comes Matt Ziba, side Hepburn. Hepburn spins, throws up the left hand, gets on rebound, and rejected oh. by Afari. Not a very good looking shot there by Hymanen, as he had all day to make something out of it. Lamar Barr for three. Off. Gale trying to get the tricky. Here comes Hoyne, he's gonna cram it home. Oh, nice dunk by Hoyne there. Nice two hand dunk. I don't think we've seen a dunk by the Sioux Cougars no, that's this the first game. One, yep. Good call. So this has got to be the first. Sissatini nice misses too. the three. Bruni brings it down, gets fouled, throws it up. He's going to go to the line for duh. 
We're going to take a, another look at that Hoim dunk. One, two up with two hands strong. We're gonna see how Bruni can do from the line. Only a minute 45 left. So this is Mohawk's game. Up by 38, could be 36 if Bruni hits both shots. He hits the first one. Hits the second, second one. So Lamar Barr is taking point guard duties. Right side. Matt Sistatini gives it to Afari. Afari loses out of bounds, but they're gonna say last touch by Sue. He thought there was gonna be an alley-oop off there, but it went to Malikandoff. Matt Sistatini almost spins it home. And they're gonna say that's off Gale. That's Sue St. Marie's ball under their own basket. Rooney, deep three, that's off. We could tell from the angle. We had the perfect angle on it, but almost kept in bounds. Here we go. Oh. Afari, what's he going to do? Oh! Almost the whole Mohawk bench stand up. Yeah, we're going to see that again. That's that's a flagrant. No call for flagrant, but you can't do that. You can't grab a guy's arm while he's on a fast break. That should be a clear path foul. But Afari will take the two points if he can hit him at the line. But that's a scary play there, Jay. Oh, yeah. Two, two big people running hard, taking each other out. It's not football. They're not wearing pads. I think frustration setting in exactly. with this, you know, big Mohawk lead with the uh, Sioux Cougars, you know, don't want it, you know, they don't want to be embarrassed with, you know, a big slam dunk near the end of the game like that, so. But they know they're coming in tomorrow as well, so. Oh yeah. They can't let the aggressiveness come. They got to come out hard tomorrow. So I think they are going to call it. They are going to call that a flagrant or a clear pass, so we got the two shots, which he missed, and it'll be Mohawk's ball side out. 108-72 for the Mohawk Marauders. Mountaineers. Lamar Barr, right side. Takes a couple left-hand dribbles. Nice passing. Gale, inside Afari. Another foul. Hymanen. Hyman's not the tallest guy in the court, but he's a big body. And he used all of that to bump Afari off. So Afari's last trip to the line, missed both. Let's see if he can change it up. So now uh, Kojo Afari misses his first. They're not bad looking strokes. It's just ball's not falling for him right now. Second one goes in. Now 109.72 with a uh, minute and two to go here as uh, Ramos brings the ball up for the uh, Cougars. So with this win, Mohawk will go to nine and two on the season. Sault Ste. Marie will fall to one and nine. So two separate stories of basketball. Nine and two, one and nine. We're gonna see them tomorrow. We're gonna see if the suit can get a nice sleep. Maybe wear it off. You gotta literally shake this loss off. Yeah. It's almost a 40 point loss. Be interesting to see how the uh, Sioux Cougars come out tomorrow when they play the uh, Mohawk Mountaineers. 48.5 on the clock. Hepborn missed the first one. Second one is up. And too strong, but gets the shooter's bounce. Marbar right side, Sissatini gets it back. Malikandoff for three, oh. and that is true. He gets Joseph right back Malikandoff on for three. 
30 seconds to go now. Ramos doesn't like the pick, so he just gives it to Hepburn. Hepburn floats it up and in. I'm liking the hustle I'm seeing from Hepburn. Lamar Barr is just gonna dribble this one out, and this one is gonna be a wrap. With the cheerleaders getting their little cheer on. Yeah, Lamar's just gonna. Okay, this one is over. Make the final 112.75 for your Mohawk Mountaineers. We're gonna take a look at some highlights of the game. There's the good passing. Inside, Jeff Hunt cutting back door. Another back door cut, this time Andrew Sissatini. Yep. There's the big dunk by Hoyne. From that funnel getting rejected. Thank you for watching, Mountaineers fans. Make the final 112.75 for your Mountaineers. We'll be back tomorrow as we play the same Sioux Cougars for Liam Dunlop and Jerry Lynn and our entire Mohawk crew. Have a good night and be safe.